Good morning. This is Keloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. The South Dakota Highway Patrol is investigating two fatal crashes from over the weekend. The first happened in Brule County around 5.30 Saturday evening. Authorities say a motorcycle pulling a trailer was headed west on I-90 about two miles west of Kimball when a tire on the motorcycle went flat. That caused the bike and the trailer to fishtail and then roll several times. The 69-year-old man driving the motorcycle was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead upon arrival. The second fatal crash happened just after 4 o'clock Sunday morning in Charles Mix County. Authorities say a Chevy Trailblazer was headed west on 299th Street, west of Highway 50, about 8 miles southeast of Wagner. The 63-year-old woman driving the trailblazer lost control on a gravel road. Authorities say the vehicle went into the ditch and rolled. The driver was not wearing a seatbelt and was thrown from the SUV. A 60-year-old man, Haiti, is dead after a farm accident nearly one week ago. The Hamlin County Sheriff's Office says a 911 call came in on Tuesday afternoon. The caller reported that a man in an alfalfa field was run over by a tractor. Crews arrived on scene and performed life-saving measures. He was taken to a Watertown hospital where he later died. Several fire departments responded to a large fire at a business in T over the weekend. It happened Saturday morning in the warehouse of the kitchen and bath store. Heavy black smoke was coming out of the north side of the warehouse when crews arrived. They brought in an excavator to knock down a wall to get at the fire. Crews were able to keep the fire from spreading throughout the rest of the building. No one was hurt. Now let's get a check of our weather with meteorologist Scott Munt. A very pleasant start to the work week, Scott. Continue for well, probably in the next couple of days with numbers in the 40s and 50s for morning lows, afternoon highs probably in the 70s to near 80 degrees. We have 76 going for a forecast high in Sioux Falls today, 72 in Aberdeen, 75 in Pier, and 70 in Rapid City. There is a rain chance today. Northeastern South Dakota into western Minnesota. And if you miss out, we'll watch Thursday and Friday for that next rain chance. More details on your forecast with Brian coming up. All right. Thank you very much, Scott. Well, former Proud Boy leader Enrique Tario will spend more than two decades in prison for his role in the January 6th riot. He's one of the latest Proud Boys to be sentenced in connection with the attack. Now, since the arrest of multiple Proud Boy leaders, the extremist organization has shifted tactics for recruitment. Which has also led to an increase in hate-related incidents across the country. Investigative researcher Ben Pop with the Anti-Defamation League says they've seen a shift in the organization from a national group to more localized chapters in states like South Dakota. Across the country, really, Proud Boys are attempting to uh, recruit and to bolster their numbers. Um, and to get more people interested in what they, um, the, the ideology that they espouse, the sort of push for recruitment isn't just a, a local thing. That's something we've seen everywhere. We reached out to Attorney General Marty Jackley's office to discuss Proud Boys recruitment numbers and the state's response. A representative from his office denied the interview due to, quote, security reasons. Artificial intelligence, or AI, has been sweeping the world and becoming a reality for many businesses and organizations. And technology and innovations in education, also known as TAI, is going around South Dakota to help expose educators to AI. This past week, they made their first stop in Rapid City as just under 100 educators attended the workshop just expose people to some of the powers of some of these AI tools to kind of help guide some of these teachers and administrators, I guess, activities as they are beginning up their school year. Now, through September, Technology and Innovation and Education will be holding these workshops in Aberdeen, Chamberlain, and Harrisburg. Well, if you drive to work or school in southwest Sioux Falls, there's a new road construction project you'll want to be aware of. Crews will be putting a mill and asphalt overlay on 85th Street from Louise Avenue to Minnesota Avenue this month. The first phase begins today and will close 85th from Minnesota to Western. Drivers should use 69th Street as an alternate route. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Karstens. Brian? All right, our weather today. Well, we're looking at partly cloudy skies. Watch northeast Kendall land. We'll see if we generate a couple of scattered showers and thunder showers. We've got a system here that's clipping along, and uh, it does look like the potential is certainly there for that. So for Sisseton, we'd call out you folks, especially Webster, 
Watertown's on the list, Millbank as well. Sioux Falls, not a lot. If anything, we get just scraped by a couple of sprinkles here. Um, and that would mainly be during the overnight period. Tomorrow, most of the rain chance, if anything, is holding together. It's plowing into a drought area, so that's a detrimental factor, too. But at any rate, it looks like low 70s tomorrow in Sioux Falls, so it'll feel pretty nice, a little warmer than that in Pier, and then we'll likely start to see more of a rebound as we get into the midweek weather cycle. Up next on the rain chance, uh, frontal boundary tries to move into the scene here by Thursday into Friday, but we're not really looking at a lot of deep moisture here. Sure, we could see a few pockets of showers or thunder, but at this point I would not necessarily count on that rain. I think uh, it's the same pattern. We get more rain in Nebraska again, probably into Colorado. And then of course where it's a little more, more moisture starved into Minnesota, likely to using the word scattered rain. That would be the way to that we would position that at this point. And then temperatures overall still in a nice range, upper 70s to near 80. Today, 76 Sioux Falls, not so bad. 72 degrees over winter and 70 our high temperature in Rapid City. Seven day forecast, upper 70s to near 80 by the end of the work week. And right now we'll kind of center that chance of rain on Friday. That's our Best bet if we're going to see something with that. We'll continue to follow that story. Aberdeen is also probably centered more so on Friday for rain chance, but later Thursday also might present a couple of opportunities here west of Aberdeen. Nothing too hot, upper 70s to low 80s. It looks like that's the top end of the scale for now. Comfortable lows mainly in the 50s. Pier and central Ketherland will move that chance of rain up just a little bit more centered on late Thursday. Otherwise, again, same talking points, no major. Major heat. I would say some pretty nice weather for September and Rapid City. You'll mainly be in the 70s and also we'll link together a couple of those rain chances Thursday into Friday. Check out more details on the forecast online at kettleland.com.